Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit video inside of Reaper. Now, right out of the box, uh, Reaper has pretty uh, limited video functionality. So there's a few things you need to download to make sure it works with a bunch or a variety of different formats. So the first thing I recommend you download is VLC Media Player. Uh, to find that, obviously you can just do a quick search uh, for VLC and it comes right up. I already have it downloaded, so let's uh, just install that first. All right, there we go. So now that we have VLC installed, we need one other thing, and that is uh, FFmpeg. So you just do a search for FFmpeg here, or FFmpeg, as some people call it, I suppose. But I'll call it FFmpeg for the duration of this video. For Windows here, uh, we're going to want to download the uh, FFmpeg release full standard, or full shared there. And uh, we just, I already have it downloaded because my internet's slow. So let's get that. And pretty much what we need out of here is just everything in the bin folder. So let's just copy everything that's in the bin folder. I'm not sure if you need the executables or not, but we'll, we'll keep them in there anyway. So you need that and you need to put it in um, your Reaper plugins folder. Not your VST plugins, this is your Reaper plugins folder. This should be located uh, by default, program files, Reaper plugins. So just throw all that stuff in there. So now Reaper should have full uh, functionality. Uh, so uh, installing FFmpeg there um, gives you the ability to render in um, different formats. Reaper by default doesn't support that many formats. And VLC gives you better performance uh, while playing videos. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, customize our workflow for Reaper uh, for editing video. So what I like to do is you see the mixer at the bottom here. I like to move that off to the side, like so. You can organize this area right here, uh, make it as big as you want, whatever. I like it so all the icons still show. Then when we go down to view and we can uh, pop out the video, uh, normally it'll, it'll pop out in a dock like this. So you just click dock, right click and hit dock, and then you can click the edge here and you can drag it on up. So it's at the top, more like a traditional uh, video editing program, and you can move things over. So yeah, that's the basic um, way I like to set it up, so it's more like a uh, workflow for video. All right, so now that we have uh, Reaper all set up for editing videos and whatnot, we need to add some videos and junk to actually edit, right? So uh, first thing we need to do is just import them, which is easy enough. You can either uh, just drag and drop like this, um, or you can go up to insert and hit media file and browse uh, to the video file you want to insert. Uh, from here, you have pretty basic control over uh, the videos, just like you would an audio track, only now we can see them in the video when you hit play, like that. So, and you can make cuts, delete stuff, move it around, resize it. Just like you would in any video editor, only this is Reaper. It feels weird, doesn't it? So if we want to do some effects, um, we need to just insert an effect. So to do all effects in Reaper, you pretty much use this video processor. So you just add that to your track, and then uh, there's some built-in uh, uh, presets here. And I'm going to use horizontal wipe just to show you. So. We can set the white position, see how that's affecting that. But obviously something like this, we'd want to animate and make like a transition, right? So let's, let's transition this into the next video. So first thing we're going to do is we add this. We put that in the right position there. And then we click the trim. And this is pretty much how you would edit MIDI or anything else either. So let's just uh, hit the checkbox for a white position. See that makes an automation item. So what we need to do here, let's go in here and we'll do it to latch just so everything's good. So hold the shift key now and click to make a point and we'll click to make an end point. 
So now this is the top position and then this is the bottom position. We'll just move that down and there you go. Instant, instant transition wipe effect. If my computer wasn't so slow. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would add any effect. And there's different uh, stuff in here. You can do chroma key, you can do uh, blur effects, all sorts of things. And you can make your own if you know uh, the code for this. Plus, uh, the community has different uh, presets and whatever you can download. Alrighty, so now that you've edited your entire video in Reaper, uh, the only thing left to do is render it. And rendering a uh, video in Reaper is just like you would uh, do to render a regular audio file. You go up to File, hit Render. The only difference here is your primary uh, output format here would be video instead of wave or whatever this, any of the other stuff is. So uh, you have a bunch of different containers. Uh, you can do MP4, H.64, which is probably the best uh, compression uh, that you can get in here without losing quality. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you have the choice to render the entire project or you can make a selection just like you always would in Reaper. So then you just click render and and everything would render uh, very slowly, I might add, on this computer at least. Uh, this is my work computer. Anyway, so that's uh, that's video editing in Reaper. Uh, it's not the prettiest video editor, but it works and it definitely has some advantages because you get all the same audio tools uh, that you would in normal Reaper, but you can do it with video. So that does about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe button if you enjoyed it and like to see more videos like this and check out my back catalog of videos, uh, I guess too. Yeah, I don't know. See you next time.